Hello and welcome to Let's Play Civilization VI. Um, we are going to try a new game today, uh, as Japan again, uh, on Immortal Difficulty. Um, let's create a game. So my last game, um, I haven't uploaded it yet, but I likely will. I lost that game on Japan as well, on Immortal Difficulty. And that was because we had a really good start, um, and, but I wasn't paying attention to what the AI was doing. And unfortunately, on higher difficulty levels, you kind of have to because you could be in a winning position that would w uh, win you a game in other difficulty levels, but not in, in Immortal or above. There's actually one level above Immortal Deity. Uh, I'm just going to stick to Immortal at, at the moment because I haven't won it enough times to feel comfortable uh, doing it and it's probably not as fun. I, I want it to be enough challenge so that I can play for a challenge and not feel like you know the AI just has so many bonuses it doesn't make any sense. But uh, we'll go with this these settings. Uh, Hojo Tokimune, Immortal, Standard Game Speed, Continents again, and Large Map Size. And uh, let's go. From the first stirrings of life beneath water, to the great beasts of the Stone Age, to man taking his first upright steps, you have come far. Now begins your greatest quest, from this early cradle of civilization on towards the stars. The great wave of Buddhism follows you, Shikan of Japan, Hojo Tokimun. Your people truly understand what it is to practice balance, and even your finest samurai will be well learned and spiritually apt. Be strong, embrace the divine wind, and you will reach enlightenment. Alright, uh, another river start. We have two luxury resources, tea, a stone, citrus here more stone and a pasture that looks like another river tile right there I'm just gonna move this one over here yeah that's a river running parallel um, I'll, I'll just start here because I, I want to grab this pasture eventually and let's build a slinger again you can see here, uh, I mentioned this in my uh, last Let's Play, the cost, the difference in cost between a scout and a slinger is so small that it just pays to make a slinger early on. You get more defense, uh, especially in the early game, that uh, not defense as in defensive stats, but more defensive units, and that helps you with the AI as well. And it helps you when you get attacked, which we likely will be. I can see here, it looks like I've spawned in the middle of a landmass, so I could be surrounded on all sides as well, so it might be a different kind of game. Um, I, I, I went back and rewatched my um, my last video, uh, my last Let's Play, um, episode one, I was talking about how starting conditions can sometimes affect how I play. Um, in that game, I started so well that um, what I said kind of came true. I said, if you kind of start off isolated, you don't play as aggressively, and you just kind of let things fall through the cracks. I mean, we played kind of aggressively in the last game, in the early part of it, because we wanted to block off the Sumerians. But as, but as soon as I got that done, I just kind of just... It wasn't really focusing on what I needed to do. Like I was like uh, constantly thinking about going to war with the Sumerians, but not really looking at who else might be in a position to win. I mean, I had known for a long time, for example, that Brazil in that previous game was technologically very advanced. And although I kind of had a half of mind to think about catching up, trying to steal tax and stuff, which in, which did not work out for us. I didn't occur to me that I should be looking at the space race victory because I think if I could have stopped Brazil from winning that space race right there, I probably would have won that game because all I needed to do was some more time. I had two great engineers that I could rush build uh, my spaceships with, so I just needed maybe 30 to 40 turns at most, maybe 
maybe 50 turns uh, to be safe to win that game. But that's a long time if you're talking about an AI that's about to win Space Race. So we didn't win that game, but, you know, we played really well. I'm pretty happy, and uh, I sound like I just lost a sports game. I, I don't know why. But let's go. Okay, there's a coast. Uh, that looks like a good place for a second city. Or right here it might be a good place for a second city as well. Around here. Or, uh, this other river tile here. <clears throat> Barbarians, so I want to pull this back. So the way barbarians work in this game is if their scouts find your city, it'll run back to their camp and it'll spawn a bunch of units. So it always pays to kill off these scouts before they get to your city. Oh shoot, it's about to find my city. Our city-state neighbors have made a request of us. If we can impress them, I think they will reward us handsomely. So I've kept the uh, new to save six uh, tooltips on again. Um, I still feel like I, I could play a few more games like this just to rem get a reminder of when things are uh, available. And I, um, hopefully it's not too annoying. But uh, here's Lisbon again, which was our neighbor in the last time they went as trade route. Okay, that's doable. And as the first save to meet them, we get a free envoy. So I'm sure they found something there because they, they walked back uh, with damage done to them. So building more slingers here. Let me heal up one turn. And it's important to get that early camp because that early gold is going to help us quite a bit. I thought Clay must feel happy in the good. And we're going to go to irrigation. Oh, okay, I see. More uh, Lisbon units. Okay, great. Heal them up. Jakarta, they're all on a galley. Are we the first to meet them? Yes, we are. So we got a free envoy. I want the uh, Slinger to kill it because I get a uh, archery Eureka bonus. Enacting new policies in our government can be of great benefit. Our people await your decree. It is not wisdom, but authority that makes a law. Do that. Uh, and like I said before, I like the one faith, one gold um, economic policy because that lets us fund an early pantheon without really investing in... Um, Holy sites. Okay, should be able to kill this one. There we go. Let's get another slinger going there. Doesn't hurt.
we might not be as surrounded as, as I feared, but let's hope uh, we're not too isolated either because it could lead to, again, lazy play. But this here, with the city-state blocking the path, I at least know that this side of the empire is relatively safe. I can probably settle a third city here, second or third city here, to grab all these resources. Okay, we found a new continent. So the enemy is likely going to come from this side or from the south here. Okay, let's get a uh, monument going. Perfect. Found a third city state. They want a trade route as well. And Hong Kong. They want a great merchant. Harder to get that one. Thousands have lived without love. Not one without water. I've only found one goody hut so far. I'm not too happy about that. Perfect. We are, by the grace of God, Victoria, Queen of the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Ireland. And soon, dare I say, the Empire. Okay, we've met Victoria, so they're probably somewhere down here. I want to scooch this over down here and just have a look in here. Another city-state. Great profit. We're unlikely to get that quest because we're not focusing on religion. But there's a lot of city states around here. Nation lives by exchanging. Not too bad. Plus one population. Uh, we'll do. Start work on early empire. Luxury down here. The good news is we can kind of expand reasonably without uh, the. Oh, there's a barbarian camp here. Without the uh, English getting mad at us. Deserves more credit than the wife of a coal miner. Okay. Get that going. Uh, I'm going to grab a builder because our uh, cities are unhappy.
get a scout out this time. Just want to clear this out and probably move down south with the scout. If there are no dogs in heaven, then when I die, I want to go where they went. units like Sky Let's get a uh, warrior out this time. Unmet player defeated, usually a city state. Okay, let's switch that to craftsmanship. Because we're about to hit uh, six pop and we should get early empire for free. Kill three barbarians, I think, for that boost. Victoria wants to attack Brussels. I don't know about that. Don't know if I like it. You tread on dangerous waters in the face of England and her loyal colonies. What's your agenda? Здравствуйте, я царь Петр. Достойный правитель, подобный вам, должен ценить все самое изысканное. Любите ли вы искусство подобно мне? I know Peter likes strong sieves, or culturally and scientifically strong sieves. I shot an arrow into the air. It fell to earth. I knew not where. Okay, uh, let's do that. Let's get a uh, trade unit. 
get going. Oh, okay. There's England. Skill without imagination is craftsmanship and gives us many useful objects. Russian, see if I can get there, find your capital. <laughs> oh, they don't want to accept. Our capital flourishes, but I think it is time that we begin establishing roots elsewhere. Perhaps we should train a settler. It was luxuries like air conditioning that brought down the Roman Empire. With air conditioning, their windows were shut. They couldn't hear the barbarians coming. I don't underrate the value of military knowledge, but if men make war in slavish obedience to rules, they will fail. The barbarian camp here as well. We have recently gained advanced knowledge in city planning. I'm also interested in creating a lasting legacy, because bronze will last for thousands of years. Hmm. Uh, we have 
citrus tea, some pastures, some more tea here, coffee, coffee. Send out the Brussels first. In addition to bringing riches to our... Okay. Let's work on the settler now. Hold off. I don't want the city state to take my uh, free gale, uh, free gold from the barbarian camp. Where should I settle first? I think south might be better because here I'm relatively uh, relatively Writing open. Is easy. Uh, currency next. One shot it. I'll wait some more. See what happens. Oh shoot, I'm going to lose the camp. Oh well.
supporters here. I wonder who's there. Yes. Gott grüße euch, Geselle. Ich bin Kaiser Friedrich und herrsche über deutsche und welsche Lande, über Burgund und manche mehr. Ich weiß wohl, dass auch ihr Kund geherrschen mit rechter Gewalt. Okay. Okay, so I think I'm going to send my first city here because I know the Germans are here and then I'll s settle south next. Um, sounds like a good plan, I think. Um, but we're about up on time, so I will end this episode here. Thank you very much for watching and I, hopefully will, this will be a much more interesting and successful game than my last one. See you again. <laughs>